Hello everyone, Laura here from IT Moon, and I am going to show you how you can link boards together so that you can have one master board and several boards underneath it. So I'm just going to show you a quick example of what I mean, and then you can decide if you want to watch the rest of the video and find out how to do it. So let's just say you've got several boards. So for me, in this example, I'm saying we've got lots of different client boards, but you might have several project boards. You might have several boards for each department, etc. And then we're going to have a master task list board. So this is our master task list board. And what we want it to be is that we don't have to, if we put a task on here, that we don't then have to go in here and put it on there as well. Or we don't want it that we put tasks on here, tasks on another board, tasks on another board, and we're going to keep logging into all the different boards. We don't want that. So instead, what we're going to do is make it so that let's just say you create a task list on here, da, 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 just literally add in some random text in this here. There we go. Here we go. We've got a task. What we want it to do is that now we don't want to just have to keep messing around and copy that over on over here, or we, we don't want to have to mess about then putting it back on another board. And yes, yeah, just mess about. So instead, all we're going to do is when I add my name onto this, so I put the name Laura, what it does, it automatically copies it over and if we click on here dashboard dash cards testing we can see it's already created it on here for us and then we can even make it so that when we click a button what it does it marks it as complete here moves it over and then in the previous board that we was in if i just load that back up it's also moved it over so what we're going to do is show you how to do that in this video step by step and then you can start using that in your business please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure if you've got any questions, just post them up and we'll happily answer them. And if you do enjoy the video, please let us know in the comments too. Now let's get going. Right then. So the first thing that we need to do to get started is we need to decide how we're going to use this. So what we want to do is create our two boards. So I have two boards here. So this is going to be my master to-do list. Um, so as you can see, we've got the dash cards on it. We've got a to-do list, regular tasks, Alex Law and completed. So this is going to be the master task board basically in this example and then this is our client board so in this scenario if you're an agency like myself you would have several client boards which you might share with the clients so that they can see what work you're working on so they can see at any point what you're doing but then it gets hard then because you've got to keep logging in to the different boards don't you so instead we want it all to be on one board. So everybody's task from all the client boards is going to be on here. So obviously you will have more than one client board. This could work if you've got different departments or you want to split up different boards. So you've got a social media board or an Instagram board, a LinkedIn board, um, your CRM board, etc. And then you all want them to link in to your master board. So first things first, what we're going to do is on the board where we're going to create the cards originally, which will be on the client board in this scenario, we are basically going to go to automation at the top here. Um, but I will note first, you should have labels created. So I've got some labels created here, Laura and Alex, and to do and waiting because it's, the label is going to be the trigger. So what we're going to say is when the label Laura is added to a card, we want you to link it up to the Laura list here. Um, you can have other stuff, and I've just put these in just for an example. Like, let's just say you just want to, to go on to do. You could just call it to do, and then that will mean it goes to to do. So you can do things like that. You should have your labels created already. So next up, we're going to go to automation and then rules, and then we're going to press create rule at the top right. So the trigger for this is going to be the label. So what we're going to do is when on the card changes, when the, and I'm going to do Laura first, Laura label is added to a card. I'm going to press the blue plus arrow. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the change this move here to copy. So we're going to copy the card to the top of the list, but we don't want it to copy to this board. We want it to copy to a different board. So if you click this little button here, it can now allow you to see the boards. So we can see here the board is there, dash cards testing. And then now we can see the list. So I'm going to say list. So it's saying here, copy the card to the top of the list, Laura, on board, dash cards testing. And then there's this little button here. So if you do that, what it does, it links the cards together. And I will obviously explain how that all works. So now we're going to press the plus arrow. And literally, that is it. We are now going to press save. 
Ta-da. Um, so then you repeat that for obviously anything else that you might use labeling. It might be just that you have one label. Now, something extra that I like to do, uh, which helps me manage this a lot better and keep things linked up, is I create a card button. And you can see it here called Magically Done. So we're just going to create that again. So we're going to put completed as the title. I call my magical done because I will say I do wizardry stuff in everything. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add an action. So the action is going to be move the card to the top of the list completed. And then we're going to just delete that bit there. So it's just going to move the card to the top of the list completed. And then what it's going to do, it's going to, let's have a check where I need Where is my, I literally cannot see it. Where are you? Right, yeah, remember where it is now. So we're gonna do, we're gonna go to date. I'm gonna say mark the due date as complete. So if it's got a due date, it's gonna mark it as complete. And then what we want it to do is, we've got this little cascade section here. So if you go to there, and then what you can do, you see this bit here for each card linked in the attachments. So if we press that, And then what it's going to do is move the card to the top of the list, mark the due date as complete, and then for each card linked in the attachments, and then we'll tell it what it wants to do again, we're going to repeat what we've just said. So we're going to do back to dates, move it to the, mark the due date as complete, and then move the card to the top of the list completed. So how this works now, is move the card to the top of the list completed, mark the due date as complete, and then for each card linked in the attachments, mark the due date as complete and move the card to the top of the list. So we're going to press save on that. And I'm also going to tick this of enabled all on all boards on this workspace. Um, and what that basically means is that it's going to be available on all the boards. So if we just press cross now, and now we're going to see it in action and it's going to makes sense. I know it may not make sense right now, but it's going to make sense. So let's just say we've added something to that to do with, which is um, complete onboarding form. There we go. And then we're going to put something in the description, which is, this is what you need to do. Um, we might have a checklist on this thing. So you, you do it out as you would do the card, da, 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 like that. Um, it's going to have a due date put that on, happy days. And that's all now popped in there. So what's gonna happen now is if we go to labels and we put the Laura on here, then what's gonna happen, it's gonna kick off that automation. So now you can see, we've got something here saying Trello attachments. And we can see it's got this here and it's saying it's on the dashcards testing. So if we go to dashcards testing, you can now see this has copied over. It's copied over everything, the due date, everything that you need to do. Now, one thing to note on this, if we edit it here, so if I put add info here, if I go back to this board now, and I'm just going to refresh it just to show you, it does not add any detail on. So what you need to do is make sure that you've got everything on this card before you move it over. And then you choose, you use one of them as the master one, really. So what we tend to do is we tend to put everything in here on the client board. And then when we're over here on our master list, this is where we might add further things in because we use this. But if we ever need to go to the client board, we can open it up in a new tab there or just click on it and it directs us and it takes you straight to where that card originally was originated from. Now, why did we create this button of magic completed shall i say so we've created this button because what we want to do now is when we've done this and we mark it as complete we also want it to go into completed here but we also need it to go into completed here we don't want to have to mess around marking it's completed here and then having to go into a board and mark it as completed in there so what we do is we click on here and instead of just ticking the due date off and then moving it away manually we're just going to press completed on the button and now what's going to happen as you can see, it's ticked it off as due. We can see here it's moved it to completed. But if we go back to the other board, 
you can see it's done the same in there. So it links it up in that way. So obviously this makes it so much easier when it comes to managing your boards and making it so that you can connect things together. So of course, you just got to remember that you can, if you do any edits after you've copied the card over, it doesn't copy them over, but it does everything else that you need it to do. You just use your one master board and then you're all sorted. So that's how you all do it. So there you have it. We've now created a two automations to make this all work seamlessly. So we've made it so that if we put something on one board, it's going to copy it over to the other board. It's going to link them together so you can go back and forth as required. And when we click a button to mark it as complete, it'll mark it as complete in both boards. And this can really transform how you work with Trello and make you just fall in love with Trello. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment to how you found it. And obviously, if you want to check us out at itmoon.co.uk, please feel free to go over there. And if you haven't checked out the rest of the videos in this playlist, such as things such as how you create dash cards, how you want to just understand Trello and what it is, please go ahead and have a watch. So thank you very much for spending your time watching this video and have an amazing, magical day.